So what it's trying to say is, it's 1.9 from the last, 2.66 from the last, 2.58 from the previous year, 3.29 from the previous year. So it's trending in the direction, but it's still not outpacing inflation though. Nope. That's the key. So until that starts happening, nurses are still underpaid. I'm going to repeat that again. <laughs> nurses are still underpaid, right? I'm not stupid. I know math. I know math. We are underpaid. So that means that when it comes to how much we are deserving and people are quitting and or turn into travel nurses this is the reason why so they could get a bigger bag somewhere else it's my money and i need it now you're welcome uh, uh, you're welcome uh. here's another glimpse in the life of mr seldom on a mission to heaven so he can tell me well done. well done he got all my secrets he promised he never tell none you're welcome there's no other feeling like it what's good everyone is Jamal Hockey, channel dedicated to helping individuals unlock the will to conquer imagination. And if you truly believe in self, as well as the content being posted here on this channel, then we can indeed help turn the you that's you into something more valuable. Now, without further ado, we got a reaction video to do today. And whenever I do do reaction videos on this channel, it's going to typically be something that's going to be along the lines of something educational. So today, we're actually hold on one second a few moments later all right i'm back so um if you didn't notice um i had to um change the light because <laughs> it died so let's go hand you over to this video so we're going to be doing a reaction video to um our in salary and wages for all 50 states so this is a registered nurse income and the reason why i want to do a reaction video for for this is because i am a, a psychiatric mental health nurse and um i recently um graduated in june 2021 and i started working as a licensed registered nurse in august of 2021 so it's interesting to see you know what the wages may be so this video came out september 3rd one of the things that you're going to notice that there is a nursing shortage, the income for nurses are going to increase and increase and increase. And on top of that, it's a profession for an individual to get into if they want to get stable income that has the capabilities of increasing a lot um, over time. Uh, and that's one thing you're going to uh, realize that for sure. So if you're in a certain state, I think it's super important to know what your potential for certain income may be, right? And it's going to vary based off a of hospital that you apply to, right? So you could live in the state of California, for, in for instance, and one state may pay you, I don't know, $100 per hour. And then another one may be offering $120 per hour base pay, right? Again, it sounds crazy to hear when you hear those numbers, but... That's the state of California. I don't live in California. I live in Tennessee. Keep it nice and simple. Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video, we're gonna talk a lot about RN salary figures. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average RN salary in the United States in 2020 was $80,010 and the The thing that's interesting about seeing these numbers is that do not go off of this. And the reason why I'm saying don't go off of this because it's almost like the numbers in itself is skewed. And on top of that, you see these numbers with like average RN wage. It's like, ooh, okay. That's not starting out pay. You're not starting out with that number. Unless you live in a state where the cost of living is high, you're not starting out. I'm gonna repeat. Stupid. You're not starting out with $38 per hour. Nope. I guarantee you, unless you live in the state where your cost of living is high and or something pertaining to, I think, like if you're like state taxes or something, you got to count for state taxes. The average RN hourly wage was $38.47. 
Now, every time you release these statistics, people will say, no, that's inaccurate. That's not how much I make. But you have to keep them. <laughs> that's me. Perfect. Right? Mind that these numbers are the national average. An average is when you take all the salaries or wage data, you add. So notice when I said I didn't say anything about it being inaccurate. I simply just said that. There's, I'm simply just saying there's more to it than the numbers, right? Again, the average is simply just taking all of the states and averaging them out. Add those numbers together and then you divide by the total number of figures in your data set and that gives you the average. Obviously, some RNs are going to make a lot more. Some RNs are going to make a lot less. It depends on things like where you live, your education, your years of experience, and the industry in which you work, and so forth. And I'm going to yep. talk a lot more about that and show you the salaries for all 50 states for registered nurses in just a moment. Now let's take a quick look at the median RN income. And when we talk about median, what we're talking about is the middle number of assorted data set. So the median RN salary in 2020 was 75000 so this is a better representation of something to look at in my opinion like the median because right you have was it mode mode median average right median is right if you go from start to end right from the from the beginning to the end right the beginning of the set to the end of the set what is directly in the middle right what will be in the middle right and if it's 50 states that will mean that you will have to take, what is it? Since it's an even number, you will have to take 25 and 26 and average those out together. So that's what the number would be. I could be wrong. And the median RN wage was $36.22. The Bureau of Labor Statistics also publishes percentile data. So for example, if you earn 116,230 per year, or $55.88 per hour, only 10% of RNs made a higher salary than that in the U.S. Now, some of you might be wondering whether the coronavirus pandemic had any effect on RN salaries, and here's your answer. I took the average RN salaries for the past five years, which you can see here, and I calculated the percentage increase from year to year in 2018. And so, I want y'all to realize something. This should be at a very educational point right here, right? For some people who may be not as well versed in terms of finance, this is actually very terrible. This is actually very terrible. I'm going to repeat that one more time. This is actually very terrible. But Jamal, why exactly are you saying this is very terrible? I'm going to say this right. Even if you ignore what's kind of happening right now with hyperinflation, let's take from 2016 to 2017. You had a 1.9% increase in your salary average but reason why that's not good enough it's because inflation in itself is going to account for about three percent what so that at any given time when you yourself do not outpace inflation you are actually losing money you're not gaining money right you're losing money hmm huh. And so we see a situation where we see individuals are losing money, though they are getting a bump and increase into their daily, their, 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 uh, their salary, their annual salary, right? Salary is annual anyway, so I guess you say salary. It's not good enough because it's not outpacing inflation. And the more recent ones, even if you want to go with the trend is trending in the upward direction It's trending in a increased direction technically from 2018 to 2019 it didn't trend that way it didn't trend that way unless what it's trying to say is that no it's trending in the upward direction no actually it's not it's stupid no it is so what it's trying to say is it's 1.9 from the last 2.66 from the last 2.58 from the previous year 3.29 from the previous year so it's trending in the direction but it's still not outpacing inflation though that's the key so until that starts happening nurses are still underpaid i'm gonna repeat that again
nurses are still underpaid, right? I'm not stupid. I know math. I know math. We are underpaid. So that means that when it comes to how much we are deserving and people are quitting and or turn into travel nurses, this is the reason why. So they could get a bigger bag somewhere else. It's my money and I need it now. In 2019, there was a little over two and a half percent increase from the previous year but 2020 saw a 3.29% increase from 2019. However, there is one thing that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind, and that is all of the salary statistics that I've been showing you in this video are based on the latest data available, which is in May of 2020. And here in the US, that's really when the pandemic was just starting to crank up. And mm -hmm. so it's gonna be interesting over the next year or two to see how the pandemic has affected RN salary growth. The pandemic. Now let's take a look at how much money registered nurses made on average in each of the 50 states, including U.S. owned territories such as. So, of course, the first place I'm going to look at, of course, the first place my eyes is going to gravitate towards, I'm going to gravitate towards Tennessee. Now, one of the things you're going to realize in these states right here is they don't pay you shit. No pay. <laughs> right the what they pay you on average is kind of low the actual messed up part about some of these states though especially when it comes to tennessee and living living in certain areas is that the cost of living is kind of kind of up there so you, what you will have to do is you may have to move somewhere where you're able to afford and get paid a pretty decent income because if your cost of living high and you're not getting paid that much, you double F, right? <laughs> right? But luckily, Tennessee kind of hooked you up. At least while I'm working at, I'm getting paid pretty decently for my, for, for someone that's only been there for a few, uh, several months. <clears throat> I'm built different. Guam and Puerto Rico. And as you look at this quick map, you can see the darker shades of purple represent the states that paid more on average, and the lighter shades are our states that paid less on average. The state with the lowest mm. average salary was Alabama, which paid registered nurses an average salary of 60000 to Low is interesting. I don't live in Alabama. $130 and an average wage of $28.96. Whereas the top paying state was California, which is pretty usual, and they paid an average RN salary of $120,560 and an average wage of $57.96. Now I'm going to show you the salary. Yeah, they get they get paid bank. 50 states, and you can hit the pause button on your screen or check out our website. So what I do is I'll pause it really quickly for anyone who wants to see this. Right, boom, paused it. Right, if any of these states apply to you. You could be like, hmm, hmm, okay. And this also helps us in negotiating tool as well. I want y'all to keep that in mind. This helps us in negotiating tool. To look at the numbers in more detail. And as you're taking a look at these, I will just say that one thing a lot of people say when they look at these different figures from state to state is they will say, hey, we are packing up and moving to California. <laughs> what he said, we're packing up and moving to California. And then he goes say, no, 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 no. Hell no. No, right? Nope. Don't do that. Cost of living is hella high. You may not even find whatever you're looking for. And most likely, you won't have to get a roommate. So if you if you cool with that, doing all that, then sure. If not, don't do it. California or Hawaii, because those two states pay registered nurses an average of over $100,000 per year. However, before you pack your bags and move, you really have to do your homework because some states have... Tennessee, Tennessee, average hourly wage, average salary. Okay, so here's what I can tell you right now, right? I can't speak for all Tennesseans. I cannot speak for all Tennesseans. But for me, I make a little bit over 30, right? I make a little bit over 30, right? I'm, I'm more around like that 31, 32 range, right? And I've only been working for about about what five five months five months and so that's where i'm at 
So I make a pretty decent salary starting out, right? Little taxes be eating that ass. I'll tell you right now, taxes That's be eating. a totally eat. different tax structure. They might have a lot more taxes than you're used to paying now, and the general cost of living, like groceries, electricity, so forth. So you really have to do your homework and crunch the numbers to see if it makes sense. Now, as you can see, the salary numbers are quite a bit different from state to state, but the Bureau of Labor Statistics also takes a look at metropolitan and non-metropolitan areas and they calculate averages. So I like that as well. I like that. So one of the things you will see right here, so we go back to like Tennessee, right? Matter of fact, let's look at California. California, all of that, all of that ish is purple besides like two areas, right? So maybe if you want to live in that in those areas right there in california then sure just to have an excuse to work as a nurse in california then you have that option um but for me in tennessee i'm in like the, the middle area which i already know that so most likely being in like that nashville area um that is looking like this right here right the 63,000 to 68,000. that's what that's looking like i think that's is that accurate yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, that's accurate. Just for those areas as well, the top paying metropolitan area for registered nurses was the San Francisco, Oakland, Hayward area in California, which Ooh. paid a whopping average salary of $149,200 and an average wage of $71.73. The Bank. lowest paying area reported by the Bureau of Labor Statistics was Joplin, Missouri, which paid an average salary to Hell no. of $48,210. Yep. Hell no. That's one place I will never live. Hell no. And an average wage of $23.18. Again, those numbers are only averages. Some nurses make more, some nurses make less in those particular areas. Now let's take a look at some of the top paying industries for registered nurses. And you have to keep in mind here that mental health work in an actual hospital setting. Sometimes registered nurses will work in the pharmaceutical industry or in business support industries or for the federal government, for example. And the top paying industry for registered nurses was the business support services industry. Oh. And they paid RNs an average of $106,670 and an mm. average wage of $51.28. I didn't know that at all. However, only 560 actually worked in that industry. The federal executive branch of the government was the second top paying industry, and they paid RNs an average salary of $96,230 and an average wage of $46.26. Finally, let's take a look at some of the I'm learning, st I'm knowing new stuff. Nurses tend to work here in the United States. And the industry that had the highest employment numbers was the general medical yeah, and med surge. hospitals industry. And they employed some 1,729,200 RNs here in the U.S. And we see that the average salary here was 81680 mm -hmm. with an average wage of $39.27. Mm -hmm. The offices of physicians industry was the second highest for employment numbers. Okay, so right now this is going in order from employment but it's not going in order from average salary. Keep that in mind. So when we get to the mental health nurse specialty or the industry, let's see what they talking about real quick. <laughs> I got some bad news for you. Okay. And this industry employed an estimated 192,300 RNs in the US and they paid an average salary of 71,660 and an average wage of $34.45. Okay. okay, that wraps up this video. Of oh, he didn't even talk Thank about it. So Oh, brother, this guy stinks! That man threw. That man's throwing here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that man's throwing here, buddy. All right, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, this video's already been 19 minutes long. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for y'all really quickly. At the end of the day, if you're trying to get into nursing, uh, one of the first things people typically do is they look at the income, how much money they're going to make, and reason why it acts as a motivator for them to kind of successfully get through their nursing school. So whatever that they're making originally, they think to themselves, whoa, I'm gonna be making a lot more once I do become a nurse, once I do graduate. So if you're using it as the motivator, make sure you do a little bit more extensive research into your state, into average income, ask some questions, talk to people at um, certain places where they work. They may not disclose what they make, some may do. But if they do, 
use that as an example, use that as a benchmark, use that as a starting point or uh, for something that you can be like, okay, this is something that I either want to work towards or something that I'm going to start out with and then start out with and then build higher, right? At the end of the day, you're not locked into any numbers. Um, to some degree, you probably can negotiate, maybe not as a new grad, but at the end of the day, you want to get the bag, the bag is there, the money is there. It's all out there. You just got to go out there and get it, okay? That's pretty much it for the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Hit the bell to be notified. Until then, I look forward to talking to you guys on the next video. So without further ado, it's Jamal Hockey. Channel dedicated to helping individuals unlock the will to conquer imagination. Until then, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. So peace out. Uh, it's the act of God, I used to act a fool But now I act in movies, actually I'm just making moves We still making music, tell you about my past To secure my future, I'm all in my bag Flow like a computer, that's a humble brag uh.